Hello, hello guys. How's everybody doing today? Um, I had asked me a question story on Instagram. Um, so if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me there. Um, saying, what would you guys want to see from me? And a lot of you said you want a hair tutorial. So I'm bringing that to you guys today. Um, so yeah, if you want to see how I do my hair in all my videos, please keep watching. Um, I'll start off by saying I always shower um, the night before I know I'm gonna curl my hair. Um, I hate blow drying my hair because I don't like loud noises, but um, I just let my hair air dry all the time. So what I use to wash my hair is um, the Eleven Hydrate My Hair Moisture Moisture Shampoo, and then after the shower I use Unite Seven Seconds Leave-In Conditioner. And then I also use the Eleven Smooth and Shine Anti-Frizz Serum. This is my best friend because we all know I have frizz. So, um, yeah, let's get started. What I do to start is I separate my hair into two different sections. I have extremely curly hair, as you can see, so I never go right in with the curler. I always have to start with a flat iron just to kind of smooth the tops and smooth like under here where it gets extremely curly. I am using the GHD Platinum Straightener. I got this one from Sephora. So just straightening basically the tops of my hair tops of the strands just so that everything's smooth and uniform. Okay, so I think we're good with that. I'm still gonna leave the straightener on just in case we need to go back in and do anything else later. This is the T3 one and a quarter inch hair curler with the clamp, it's not a wand. Um, and this is the one my hairdresser uses on me. So this is why I was like, okay, I need it because I need salon fresh hair now. Um, but yeah, I love this one. I got this one from Sephora as well. It's a little bit pricier, but I swear to you, it is the best investment I've ever made because I just love this thing. It makes my frizzy hair so smooth and silky and it literally looks like I just left the salon. So obviously, who doesn't want that? So there's a funny story. I, when I bought this, I did not know how to use a hair curler. Like, not at all. I've used a wand, but that's it. Other than that, I used my hair straightener to curl my hair before. Um, so I had no idea. I was having so much trouble with this. I was like texting my best friend, my boyfriend. I'm like, what the hell? Like, I just can't do this. I messaged my hairdresser on Instagram and I was like, can you give me a tutorial, please? I'm struggling. So um, yeah, she sent me a tutorial and this is what she told me to do. So you're gonna take your fingers, your um, pointer finger and your middle finger and you're gonna put them on the clamp. So then you're just gonna clamp it around the hair. I kind of start off right at the top and then I kind of go around and then so I hold it there for a few seconds and then she like lets it go so that's what I did go down a little bit let it go go around and that's it so cute little curl so then throw that guy back and then let's actually take one from up here I don't know how good this section is right now. I can feel this is a little bit curly up at the base, so I'm gonna just straighten it a little bit. Yes, this is probably damaging to my hair using two hot tools, but it's okay. I'm just kidding, it's not okay. So curl it, go right to the base, let it go. Move down, move down, go out and around, and that's it. I'm gonna take another one from the bottom. Base is 
little bit curly, so we'll go ahead and iron that a little bit. super like naturally curly not like cute curly so i would tend to focus more time on there so there's that i see a spot that has a little cowlick so we'll get in there take the curler roll it down i kind of like to get a majority of the strand in there Outwards. Go outwards. Oh gosh. Yeah. I don't like to take them too thick. Like I definitely don't like them thin because I do want like a looser curl. So I'll take like a medium sized chunk if that makes any sense. Move down, go up and around, down. So that's what it's looking like so far. Pretty cute. Oh my god, guys, please don't mind my roots. It has been a minute, as you all would know. But in um, Alberta, hair salons are going to be opening up around May 14th-ish. There's no set date, but around then. So who's excited? Me. Well, my appointment's not till July, but I'm still excited. I was getting my hair done on July 3rd because my flight to Italy was leaving July 5th. So we all know what's going on there. I'm not going to Italy no more. I'm very sad, very upset. I've cried a decent amount of times. You know? Okay, I have no like tripod or anything, which I have to get. I'm gonna order one off Amazon. But I have you literally duct tape to my mirror right now. Desperate times. And like the tripods I was looking on Amazon aren't even shipping until like May, middle of May. And I am not a patient woman. So I have these like things right on the side of my face. These, I don't know, my mom calls them my wings. But um, those need special attention because they're shorter. Um, so I have to basically go in with a straightener first and then try to curl them. Well, basically did that with the rest of my hair, but these ones are a little different. Straighten the base. These ones I have to get really straight because we don't want like little kinkies. careful with these right around your face um i forgot to mention anytime i curl my hair i always curl it in um the direction away from my face Honestly, still new at this too, so I'm learning. I know I just said I curl away from my face, but that one just kind of took control of my body. It went towards my face, and that's fine. They don't all have to be like perfect. This side I can never get the top straight. Oh, excuse me, 
So for this side, for me, it's easier for me to take it um, with my thumb instead of my top two fingers, these two. Um, so that way I can get it away from my face. Again, right to the top, let it go a little bit. So these ends, I'm trying to get them not to fall out. that one I just went habit and went right towards my face that's fine so what have you guys been keeping yourselves busy with while being at home if you are at home during this time let me know in the comments. I just started um, a spring course at school. I am in university. I don't want to do it, but I need it so that I can graduate next year. This is my, starting in September, that'll be my fifth year. So obviously I'm trying to graduate. But that's basically been my entertainment basically been what has been filling my time um but before i started this course because i started may 4th and it's may 5th so not too long at all but before i started i was doing nothing i was doing home workouts shopping obviously as you guys know so i'm gonna just toss this to the other side because i need to be able to see what's going on under here tight don't be afraid we are gonna go in um, afterwards and kind of run our fingers through So I'm honestly just gonna take a straightener and go in again a little bit because there's this one piece in here, this, that's like super short and doesn't fit into anything. So it drives me crazy. I'm gonna try and take this as close to the root as possible just because of that little piece. Otherwise, I would say you guys can start um, a little bit more down a little bit more towards the middle of the hair so see how that went like that there. so now I like to just run my hands through a little bit so that is how I curl my hair and that took about 10, 15 minutes, I think, maybe 10. Uh, but yeah, super easy. And then again, if you guys don't like any parts, you can go back in and touch it up yourselves. Um, yeah, take a straightener to it, whatever you guys wanna do, but that's it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you wanna see anything else, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below, or you can message me on Instagram. And as always, please don't forget to subscribe.